And uh, thank you for, for speaking with us. We understand there are issues in the assembly. What is happening, sir? Well, uh, the assembly has been moving fine. The assembly has been moving fine, but uh, of late, there is uh, a problem as between uh, the House of Assembly and then uh, the governor, just as with the executive. Sometimes in March, a loan request of 11 billion naira was presented to the House of Assembly, and the Assembly, in its wisdom, felt that the tenor is about ending and turned down the request. Ever since then, the governor has been able to intimidate most of the members. Assembled eight members in a warm hotel in Nguruya Garden Hotel. And give them two three million naira. Advise them to go and uh, impeach the speaker and the leader. The last for the implementation that you can confidently take care of that. On, on a little, so one second, please. Could you just turn down the volume of your TV set? Then you can go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. So you now ask them that um, they should go and remove the speaker and the leader that whatever the implementation is all about, I can certainly take care of that. And that uh, moreover, we have sitting as a matter of fact today. About 1 a.m. this morning, several enormous vans of police vehicles barricaded the assembly complex, and uh, we have to call uh, the commissioner for police. Incidentally, he couldn't answer. The AID responded and promised to talk to the commissioner, but shortly before we sat, the commissioner called back, and they granted access to the assembly complex. And then we had our normal sitting. We are 15 in number. We had our normal sitting, and they suspended some three area members. And then, of course, served the, the governor an impeachment notice. So when we now finished, the eight members entered the, into the chambers as I had, and they accepted the purported impeachment of uh, the leader and then uh, my humble self. This is a House of Assembly of uh, 24 members. One wonders how to, to thought of uh, 24 could amount to eight, even when the presiding officer is part of the eight. You know, there were seven people really fast. So we are calling on uh, the Inspector General of Police to give us protection and uh, stop the level of impunity that is going on in any state. If the governor wants to remove the speaker, I mean that legislative and constitutional procedures through which he can follow to achieve that. It is not by embarking on a kangaroo business of uh, kidnapping the clerk, getting his work across uh, his own to hotel, forcing him to go to assembly with only eight members, which is Nothing presiding as as, as, as uh, the, the, uh, the the acting speaker, and then seven members will just come and they remove the speaker. The deputy. On a, so on that a, is the situation, sir. On a, but, uh, why would the yeah. assembly? You, although you said you're just almost at the close of the of of, of tenure, but why would the assembly turn down a request by the governor for a legitimate project? Hello, sir. The project that the governor made the request for, is it not a yes. legitimate project? Yes, the project could be legitimate, but asking for 11 billion naira without details, without knowing who the 11 billion naira could be given, no contractors were identified. The project for which the loan is being sought is not even identified. So the House now said that these are what they should be able to know, but of course they would refuse to provide same. And the House in this wisdom felt that providing a loan less than 60 days to the end of the tenor will equally be suspicious before the members of the public with regards to the image of the House. Uh, so we turned it down, sir. Uh, no, well, okay, thank you so much. But just before you go, we understand that the the dispute between the assembly and the executive has been on for more than five years. Is that true? The dispute? 
Yes. No, 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 we've never had any dispute. In fact, this is one of the most peaceful house assembly in Nigeria. Throughout my tenure as a speaker for eight years, I don't think we've had any problem until now. So that is actually the situation we find ourselves. So we've had a very uh, smooth relationship. But, but when, when, when the governor was away um, uh, under the weather, were there issues you had with the the person in charge at that time, the deputy governor or the chief of staff? No, we had no issue when the governor traveled. The governor traveled uh, ostensibly on vacation of six weeks, and within the period, he felt sick. So the house in its ways felt that even though that uh, he is sick, that the house should be able to get him protected until he says five months are come back. So the house, I don't think, uh, we worked very well with the then deputy governor and then uh, the operators of government as are then. And uh, that I believe uh, he uh, acknowledges as well. I think it is not, it's not part of, I don't, I don't think that, that could have constituted uh, our own crime in um, seeking to remove leadership of the house unlawfully. All right. Thank you very much, Honorable Odo. Thank you for speaking with us. All right.